The universe is big. So big, we can't get our brains around it sometimes. In such a vast place, the potential for random and fun facts is high. So, prepare to be amazed by a selection of fast, furious, and funny stories about what happens beyond the stars. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 random facts about space. 25. The North Korean Space Agency means nothing. I'm not trying to be insulting here. It's just that their program had the acronym NADA. This stood for the National Aerospace Development Administration. North Korea is a mysterious place that shuts out the West, but it seems even they were aware of how the name sounded overseas. In 2023, NADA became NATA, with the word development replaced by technology. A bit of an improvement. 24. The colorful side of the moon. The so-called dark side of the moon has been examined by astronomers in Hawaii. In 2014, after a couple of years of work, they concluded the precise coloring is more like turquoise. How come? This is due to blue light from our planet bouncing off the moon. The dark side of the moon just sounds way cooler. And that Pink Floyd album just wouldn't be the same, right? The turquoise side of the moon. 23. 2 billion. That's the number of planets within our galaxy that can be compared to Earth. It's an estimate, as there are thought to be more. So. What do I mean by an Earth-like planet? Something that's around the same size, for starters. Also a planet that's in a part of space capable of sustaining life, or the habitable zone of a star, as it's called. With approximately 100 billion stars in this corner of the universe, the chances of a planet like ours being there are theoretically pretty strong. Some think that figure is more like 4 billion. 22. Flat Earth Theory People in ancient history had some wild ideas about space. For example, they all thought the Earth was flat, right? That was until experts proved those primitive types wrong. Let me stop the story right there. The thing is, it's actually a bunch of galactic garbage. Check out the writings of philosopher Pythagoras, who talked about our world being round in approximately 500 BCE. Later on, the mathematician Eratosthenes worked out the shape of the planet through watching the shadows in ancient Egypt. So leave your preconceptions about historic peoples at the door. And remember, future civilizations will be laughing at us for some of our ideas. 21. Martian Asparagus When Martians land on Earth, they may well look like talking sticks of asparagus. At the very least, we know that asparagus grows effectively in soil from Mars. The stuff is known in science circles as regolith, Greek for blanket of rock. And it isn't dissimilar to our own soil in terms of the nutrients and such contained within. Plants seem to enjoy the muddy Martian goodness. Question is, would you eat asparagus from a Martian flower bed? 20. Global warming on Mars. Any environmentalists watching may be shocked to hear that experts want to mess with the atmosphere on the red planet. This Martian global warming proposal would see Mars getting terraformed. The plan is to rock up, create a bunch of greenhouse gases, and turn the planet into a hothouse. Why ramp up the temperature? To ensure a water supply for humans. Water is also essential for climate regulation on Earth, so we'd want that up on Mars. 19. Metal on the Moon The Cold War may have been going on at the time, but that didn't stop Apollo 11 crew members Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from placing one of Yuri Gagarin's medals on the lunar surface. Gagarin became the first human in space, going into orbit in 1961, eight years before the famous moon landings. It was in a satchel, and they left it up there. With how things work on the moon, the metal is probably still lying around undisturbed. The Americans also wanted to pay tribute to fellow cosmonaut Vladimir M. Komarov, who died in 1967. He was the first human to lose his life during spaceflight. 18. The Winds of Neptune The wind blows on Earth thanks to the sun, which heats the surface in a way that generates turbulent conditions. Over on Neptune, however, they don't pick up much energy from the sun. So why do they have such powerful winds? Neptune has what are believed to be the strongest winds in our solar system with a top speed of 1,304 miles an hour. Could heat come from inside the planet instead? Well, that's what experts think. Though, it will probably be a long time before we can prove it. 17. Swedish Model Want to see a really cool way to learn about the solar system? In Stockholm, there's a giant outdoor model showing our side of the cosmos up close and personal. Obviously, it isn't full size, but the model is constructed so that one meter is equal to one million kilometers. Tiny in galactic terms, but no small distance. In total, the model is approximately 600 miles long. You won't need a spaceship, but you'll probably need a taxi or bike. 
We actually have something like that here in Gainesville, Florida. If you go to 8th and 34th, uh, there's a park right there, and right across the street, it's a uh, it's a model of the universe that, or the, sorry, our solar system that is uh, to scale. So like the sun's at the corner and Pluto's way down. It's a lot smaller scale than this. <laughs> But yeah, no, we have something like that. Come to Gainesville, come check it out. Like I said, 34th and 8th, you'll see it. And real quick guys, if you like this video and wanna help me out, please, please give it a like and a comment for the algorithm because it will help this channel out a lot. Thank you so much. Back to the list. 16, fly like a bird on Titan. Incredibly, there are places in the solar system with atmospheres suitable for human flight. And by that, I don't mean flying in ships. I'm talking about channeling your inner seagull and flapping your way around. Titan, one of Saturn's moons, has a nitrogen-rich atmosphere. This dense environment means it's possible for someone to attach wings to their arms and get a bird's eye view of the place. 15. 15. Yes, our number 15 is the number 15. As in, the number of sunrises and sunsets you'll see on a daily basis on the International Space Station. It's because you're orbiting a few times around the Earth during that period. People down below have to put up with one measly sunrise and sunset. 14. Touch the stars. Brown dwarf stars are known for being not quite a planet and not quite a star. Whatever they are, they're very cool. By which I mean cool enough to touch. There are examples where the temperature on the outside is 200 degrees Celsius. That's well over 20 times cooler than the sun. Not something you'd want to touch for a long time, certainly not without gloves, but touchable nonetheless. 13. The Floating Cities of Venus There aren't any floating cities above Venus. One day, however, there might be. The Venusian sky is being looked at as a possible place for humans to live, provided we can design and build communities in the air, of course. Pressure in the atmosphere there, located around 31 miles up, is comparable to that on Earth. You don't want to be on the ground on Venus because it's reportedly 900 degrees Fahrenheit. 12. Destination Mars Mars would also be your final destination if you signed up for the Mars One project. This has been around since 2012 and is the brainchild of entrepreneur Baz Lansdorp. Much like that Matt Damon movie The Martian, Lansdorp wants people to go to Mars and turn it into a human colony by growing veggies and stuff. It's also a one-way trip. Mars One sounds like a true adventure and many are up for the challenge. Over 100,000 are currently on the books, though they probably shouldn't get too excited as missions to Mars were supposed to start happening in 2024. I think you missed the boat, guys. 11. Lunar Internet NASA did an internet test on the moon? They sure did, back in 2013. The LLCD, or Lunar Laser Communication Demonstration, zapped data all the way from the lunar surface to the planet Earth. Typically, radio waves would have been used. Reports state the project's download speed was 622 megabits per second. That's actually pretty good, as the recommended speed on Earth is 100 megabits per second. Uploading was also strong with a speed of 19.44. That's around 10 megabits faster than the recommended minimum. 10. ISS Space How much room is there aboard the International Space Station, or the ISS? It always seems pretty cramped to me, but as it turns out, I'm wronger than a spicy cur in a long-haul space flight. The inside of ISS is reportedly similar to a five-bedroom property. that can be shared between a group of six who have kitchen and bathroom facilities alongside their labs and lounges. Actually, it's starting to sound a lot less like a space station, more like an Airbnb, right? Space B&B. Nine, Clooney and Bullock's mega budget. How much does it cost to make a Hollywood space movie? 2013's Gravity starred George Clooney and Sandra Bullock as two gorgeous astronauts in trouble. This came with a hefty price tag, $100 million. Believe it or not, that's relatively cheap in blockbuster terms. However, it's super expensive compared to an actual space program. Yes, Gravity cost around $25 million more than Mangalyaan, India's Mars orbiter. Eight, Space Bomb. A 1.4 megaton hydrogen bomb was exploded by the Americans over the Pacific in 1962. At approximately 248 miles high, the bomb was tested way up in space. You see, the line between Earth and space is only 62 miles above sea level. This space bomb was super powerful, 100 times stronger than the Hiroshima bomb. 
According to reports, the resulting electromagnetic pulse put out street lighting in Hawaii and affected a British satellite, among other disruptions. The explosion was dubbed Starfish Prime, part of Operation Fishbowl. Seven, third comes right after second. Russia went into space first, we know that. They were then followed by their rivals, the USA. We know that too. Who came third? You'd be forgiven for not knowing that, unless of course you're Canadian, in which case you're probably screaming at the screen right now. They launched their Alouette 1 satellite in 1962. Six, is that wall there is? It's a common misconception that the Great Wall of China is so enormous you can easily see it from space. The famous wall is over 13,000 miles long, but at only 46 feet in height at its highest point, we're not talking anywhere near large enough. One thing you can see is Chinese air pollution. The grim findings of a study into concentrations of pollution were revealed in 2012. Five, V2. This German-made rocket became the first man-made object to travel into space in 1942. It soared approximately 118 miles high, passing the Kármán line. This boundary between Earth and space, named after the physicist Theodore von Kármán, lies 62 miles up. You may not know that the Germans were heavily involved in space exploration, or that the Americans and Russians used the V-2 teams to help create their own space rockets. Four, thin rings. Saturn's rings are impressive. However, in space terms, they're really thin. The chunkier of the rings measures around several hundred meters deep. Compare that to the width of the rings at approximately 87,000 miles and you really see the difference. You wouldn't want to get too close to one, of course, due to the fact that they're made of whirling pieces of rock and ice. Three, planet switch. You may know that Uranus comes before Neptune in the sequence of planets in our solar system, but was that always the case? Some experts believe it was originally Neptune that was closer to the sun. In other words, the two planets did a cosmic switcheroo. Because Uranus is on a tilt, it's thought the switch could be in some way responsible for this. Two, space boomerang. What happens when you throw a boomerang in the International Space Station? Firstly, you should duck. Secondly, the boomerang would probably just float there. In fact, it does what a boomerang should do, as engineer Takao Doi discovered when using the legendary Australian throwing stick in ISS gravity. While astronauts float around aboard the ISS, the gravity isn't as light as you think. My question is, why does he carry a boomerang around with him? I miss mine. I had one. I don't know where it went. I threw it and it didn't come back. No, I seriously don't know where it went. I had so if anyone has a boomerang they're not using, send it my way. I'll, I'll take it. Always, always wanted a boomerang, and I bought one, and I lost it. One, nailed it. This next story is not for the squeamish. Spacewalks look cool, and it's an experience you'll remember for the rest of your life, mainly because you're doing something only a small number of people get to do, and partly because you're having your fingernails torn out. I'm sorry, come again? It seems the gloves astronauts wear are a little on the uncomfortable side. Not every astronaut has these troubles, but a lot of them do. Can you believe that some people choose to actually remove their fingernails so they can enjoy a hassle-free spacewalk? So now's the time I usually point you to one of our other videos in this end screen. However, I have exciting news. I just launched a new channel called Dark Roast Detectives, where I will deep dive into true crime stories. So if you're a fan of true crime, it would mean a lot if you could check it out here. I'll catch you next time, either there or here. Why not both?